Okay, so the first step in replacing the USB dongle for the wireless keyboard and mouse on your HP NV Curve 34 inch is going to be removing all of the connected cables, any peripherals that you have plugged in on the back, and obviously move them aside and out of your way. The second step into identifying and locating where the dongle is behind this plastic panel, which is removable, it goes all the way from the metal leg to the metal leg. You will, with preferably your less dominant hand, you will need to tilt and stabilize your unit, keeping it in an upright position. We're not going to lay this unit down on its face or its back. We're going to keep it standing upright on its legs. You will, with your fingernails, be able to start in the middle, working your way across to be accessing the service plate that is just held on by little retainer clips. Once you have that panel removed, you can now see an easily identifiable USB blue USB dongle that is the receiver for your, uh, your keyboard and wireless mouse. If you are replacing, simply put this one aside, take the new one. If you're reseating, Please firmly reseat for testing purposes as such. At this point, if you are replacing, it would be a good idea to go ahead before putting this panel back on to test whether reseating has resolved your issue of the wireless mouse and keyboard not working and or replacing that the new uh, replacement pieces are actually functional with your unit. So at this time, plug the computer back in, fire it on and see what the end results are. So okay. once you have redetermined that the dongle has been reseated and resolves your issue or been replaced and resolves your issue, either way, and you've confirmed that it works, we need to put the panel back on. The panel is slightly flexible. They want to flex it kind of in position because it does need to seat behind the two metal legs on each side. And you can start kind of working it back in. At this point, just make sure that your unit is stable and not going to be falling this way. Obviously, it's not tilted in any other way, shape, or fashion that would potentially break the unit. And work your way down the middle and the sides, kind of getting everything back into place until it is done. And then from there, plug your power, ethernet, if desired, and any other peripherals, and continue as normal.